Good morning. Fourth Sunday of the Easter. I am the good shepherd says Jesus Christ in John's Gospel chapter 10. My sisters and brothers today is known as Good Shepherd Sunday. Because in each year of the liturgical cycle on this fourth Sunday the gospel is always taken from the 10th chapter of John where Jesus speaks of himself as the good shepherd. The Old Testament often speaks of God as shepherd of his people Israel. The Lord is my shepherd I shall O oh, shepherd of Israel you who lead Joseph like a flock Psalm 81 We are his people and the sheep of his pasture Psalm 103 The Messiah is also pictured as the shepherd of God's people He will feed his flock like a shepherd he will gather the lambs in his arms isaiah 40:11 so my sisters and brothers jesus says that he is the good shepherd not a good shepherd good means more than more than anybody more than any good shepherd this good shepherd that jesus is talking is more than any other good shepherd this good shepherd knows the sheep i know my own and my own know me john's gospel chapter 10 14 he knows every one of us and every single detail of our life He said even the hairs of your head are all numbered Matthew 10:30 Do not feel nobody knows me I am nobody's child Don't say that it Jesus knows you He loves you This good shepherd calls the sheep by name after the resurrection the good shepherd the risen good shepherd jesus calls mary magdalene by name mary and the sheep mary responds rabuni jesus calls you by name today wherever you are he calls you by name this shepherd leads from the friend my sisters and brothers in israel the shepherd will always lead from the friend once it so happened that uh, a group of people went to the holy land for a tour and a tourist guide was explaining in israel the shepherd will lead the sheep from the friend and an old lady looked through the window and far off a uh, shepherd was uh, walking behind the sheep and told him hey you said the shepherd walks in front look at look there he is walking behind he got ashamed and he got down and ran and found the truth and came back and told my dear sisters and brothers that is not a shepherd he is a butcher he takes all the sheep to be slaughtered but uh, our jesus christ the good shepherd leads from the friend he guides me along the right path he goes before you where you want to go he will lead you such is our good shepherd this good shepherd feeds the sheep a shepherd provides good posture in psalm 23 a sheep says of the shepherd i shall not be in want i am given everything he makes me lie down in green posture 
he leads me beside quiet water and he restores my soul so my dear sisters and brothers true shepherd will provide for the genuine need of those they lead our god is a feeding god from the beginning of creation he feeds us with his body and blood every day in the eucharist nothing shall i want this good shepherd searches the lost sheep till he finds it he never judges the strayed sheep he cannot abandon it to the disastrous fate it opted for his heart beats for the lost sheep in pain he leaves the 99 immediately to go after the one who is lost the shepherd does not give up until the sheep is found he is joyful when he finds his sheep and rejoices with his friends jesus is looking for you if you are lost if you are in sin if you are in a dirty life is after you even if you don't find the good news is he will find you he is a seeking shepherd this good shepherd carries the sheep safe home the shepherd holds the sheep safe and carries all the weight on his shoulders and brings the sheep all the way home jesus carries my yoke with me and he carried the cross for me jesus carries you on the palm of his hand this good shepherd sets boundaries every relationship is defi- defined and preserved by boundaries stepping over those boundaries damages and destroys the relationship a true leader will establish and maintain boundaries for the shepherd there is a sheep pen within which only his sheep may gather for every leader in every area of life there are appropriate ethical moral and other boundaries that leaders need to establish and maintain for the benefit of themselves and those they lead this good shepherd brings all the sheep together i have other sheep that are not of this fold i must bring them also and they will heed my voice so there shall be one flock one shepherd jesus brings communion my dear sisters and brothers among the churches which are broken into thousands and thousands of groups and the families are divided he brings all of them together this good shepherd not only lives with the smell of the sheep but accompanies journeys walks with pope francis says a true shepherd lives with his sheep and accompanies them on their journey even if we have messed up our lives jesus lives with us he walks with us he talks to us he breaks bread this good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep he is the gate when the dangerous animal come to attack he will give his life and save the sheep Jesus died on the cross for you and for me. So my dear sisters and brothers live as sheep of the good shepherd. You are invited to know the shepherd today. You are invited to hear the voice of the good shepherd today. You are invited to follow the good shepherd today. You are invited to enjoy the hospitality of the good shepherd offered in the eucharist today you are invited to be a leader like the good shepherd 
you are invited to come back to the sheepfold if you are lost, if you are in sin. You are invited to carry one another uh, when someone is uh, uh, fallen, wounded, broken. You are invited to be part of the sheepfold, be part of the community, be part of the congregation. You are invited to give your life for others. Give your energy, time, talents, money. We pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the good shepherd. I am your sheep. You know me. You call me by my name. You feed me in the green pastures. You lead me from the friend. You search me when I am lost. You carry me home. You smell my dirty life and you lay down your life for me. You are my good shepherd. Nothing indeed shall I want. Nothing indeed shall I fear. Even when I am lost in the thickest darkness, I know you will hear my cry and reach out to me. Thank you, Jesus, for being my good shepherd. Amen.